Good evening, friends. Happy, what day is it? Happy Wednesday. Oh my goodness, this feels weird. Hey, everybody. Hopefully you guys are out there and able to join me this evening for Just Cards Virtual. So normally, um, my apologies this morning, I normally would be here live at 10 a.m. Oh, hold on a second. Sorry, I was making sure that my streaming was working because of the issues I was having with my connectivity this morning. So apologies that we did not have What's Up Wednesday this morning. Um, I'm going to do that tomorrow morning, uh, Thursday morning at 10 o'clock. So hopefully my morning crew can join me tomorrow at 10. But tonight we're going to talk just cards. And this is a class that I host in person. It's the first Tuesday of every month. So some of my gals were here yesterday morning and yesterday evening stamping with me, which is so wonderful wonderful just to have bodies back in my studio but I don't want to leave out you guys all my phone friends so I'm gonna come on the day after six o'clock and do just cards virtual so yay Betty made it Betty it's early for you I know um, so you guys keep in touch with me and let me know if we start to have any issues um, it is not raining here anymore but a lot of times with rain and bad weather when it gets real damp my internet gets very very fickle it gets very spotty it was very sluggish this morning so i opted to sit out this morning's live and try again with you guys tonight so let me know make sure that just give me some thumbs up and some hearts if you guys can hear me if you can see me if we're glitchy at all let me know um, otherwise i do have a plan b if this internet is not going to hold out for us and uh, plan b is that i'm just going to and go have dinner with my farmer so that is what my plan B is anyway friends okay lots and lots of hearts that's awesome that means things are working so we're gonna roll along hopefully some other friends will join us here for a little bit of stamping so um, welcome again to just cards class and we have three cool cards that we're gonna create tonight and I'm using some of the new stuff cuz you guys the new catalog came out yesterday, so we've been sitting and waiting patiently or not so patiently for this catalog to come out, and it's gorgeous. I can open it up and even show you beautiful things that are inside. Yay, finally. So if you do not have a copy of our catalog, let me know. Uh, if you have a demonstrator, if you don't have a demonstrator you work with, I will be happy to get you a free copy of this catalog. Just hit me up and let me know. So let's see. There's a couple things we do want to talk about. Since I missed you guys this morning, there's some things I want to make sure that we do not forget about. And, um, oh, lots of you guys are coming on. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. So make sure you give me lots of likes and loves. Share with my friends and or share with your Stampin' friends and um, I'm looking, yes, Betty, it's super, super easy. So Betty's asking about these catalog tabs. They're just little stickers and um, I just eyeballed them and stuck them on where I thought that they would go and so they kind of just track down the side here a little bit. These actually are demonstrator only um, tabs that came out this year. We haven't done that before and I am loving it. I am loving having these little tabs. They are making things so much easier to find. Of course, I spiral bind my catalog and I put a little cover on the front and a little cover on the back to protect it because then when I'm working, it lays open perfectly and I can see what I'm doing and don't have to worry about the crease. So once you spiral bind your catalog, you will never want to go without it again. Um, the first page of each category. Yep, that's what I did, Betty. Yep, right. I just went right to where Occasions was and matched up. There's a little color block that matches it. Then I went to the first page of Birthdays and put a tab in there. So if you're a, maybe a little particular, you maybe want to measure, but I didn't. I just kind of started spreading them out, and I think they work just fine for me. Um, they do come. I gave a bunch away, so some of you guys earned them for free on my last uh, video, but let me grab them here. This is what they look like, and they come in multiple languages, so it kind of feels a little bit wasteful because 
you'll see so many like you you only need this here that's you that's american <laughs> that's united states right there and the rest of these might be german french dutch there's some blank ones so you could probably put another set of tabs maybe at the end of a section if you wanted to um, but anyway find some friends that speak multiple languages and share these with them and in a pack of them if you're a demo you order a pack of them they're super cheap they were like four bucks for a pack and then when i opened them i was like oh my god there's like eight sets in here so i gave a bunch away at one of my last um, facebook videos and maybe y'all stay tuned because I think I might do it again. We might have another little giveaway. So um, just so you know, you guys, did I introduce myself? Probably not. Jody Breckville, Stampin' Queen. You are hanging out on my Facebook page right now, live with me in my studio. Uh, real quick, I want to share the host code for this month. You can shop 24-7, 365 over at my online store. Hey, Barb. Hey, Deb. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad to see my friends here with me. 24-7, um, hop over to jodybreckville.stampinup.net. This is the host code that you will use for May, so you can shop anytime out of this glor glorious new catalog. Uh, if you're not an online shopper, that's cool. Just message me and I can help you out and uh, direct ship right to you, no problem. I know some of you guys don't really like to shop online and uh, some of you don't like to put a credit card out there and that's cool, respect. Just message me and I can help you out, no problem. Keep in mind, kids, if you are shopping and your order happens to go over $150, you are the host, so do not put my host code in. That means you are going to get your freebies. Hey, Denise. Hey, Thelma. Um, so you want to make sure orders over 150, you are going to not use a host code. Hey, Mandy. Funny, I just saw you today. Thank you for blessing my home. Um, otherwise, underneath and under 150, go ahead and use that host code. So while we're talking about your orders, my friends, you know I got to talk about it, right? Because I have the best job in the world. Uh, as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, we have a very cool starter kit special going on right now through the month of May. I know my wish list out of this catalog is way long. I've been chunking it off a little bit. So the catalog went live yesterday, right? I've already placed probably seven orders already. So so some are not mine, some are you guys, um, but some are my In Color Club, my designer paper share. We have new kits coming out, so I ordered some new kits. I ordered stuff for my team event. And when your wish list starts to get really long, you might wanna think about the starter kit special. And I mention that because it's no commitment, right? We do not lock you into anything. We know who our best customers are, and it is us. We are some of our best customers. So the starter kit special, it's called Join Plus, month of May only, and it is our starter kit is $99, and we're gonna give you $155 in product. So we're giving you a ton for free, right guys? $155 in product for only $99. We're gonna give you free shipping on top of that. We're gonna give you a free paper pumpkin on top of that, free business supplies on top of that, as well as um, the continual discount. So it's always like shopping at Kohl's with a coupon. You know, I never go to Kohl's without my 20 or 30% off coupon. So with Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator, you're going to get 20 to 25% off every time you shop. And I can tell my Denise is out there, hey Denise, Denise knew what the good, the good deal was and she signed up yesterday, took advantage of the starter kit, took a big chunk off of her wish list, and then the things that were left, she was able to get a discount on. So anyway, guys, I, I don't want to spend too much time on that because I don't want you to feel like I'm pushy, but my job, friends, is to make sure you get the most bang for your buck. That's my job. And the other thing that you get when you join uh, Stampin' Up! is, first of all, you get me. Um, I have a team of moveless stampers, which are awesome, and we do real live meetings in person, we do virtual events, and we have a lot of fun. So that's the other thing that you get. In addition to that is the community, which we have a lot of fun with that. 
All right, now, the other thing I wanted to share with you, if you're not quite ready to take the plunge into the starter kit in the world of demonstrators, you might want to look at this promotion we have going on. This is called the Connect, Craft, and Collect promotion. This is for hosts. So if your wish list again is very, very long, maybe you wanna put your order in and earn extra host credit, so even more for free. Who doesn't want stuff for free? So um, right now, all the way through June 14th, if you have an order submitted at $250, that's your qualifying order. That's going to earn you the extra $25. And let me tell you guys, that makes a big difference. That little, it doesn't seem like much, but in addition to your regular host benefits. So it's a 25 on top of what you would normally get. So I've been taking advantage of that like crazy. Then of course, when you get to 450, you're gonna get an item at half price. So you can take advantage of this just as a customer. So if you're just putting in your own order, checking items off your wish list, you can take it take advantage of that. If you want to gather some friends and say, hey guys, let's put an order in and let's hit 250 and I'll get some free stuff. I'll host it. You can do it that way. You can gather some friends together. I would be happy to get together either virtually or in person and hang out with some of you and your friends and get creative and help you get more items for free. So if you have any questions about anything, guys, feel free to let me know. The other thing I wanna tell you real quick, you guys have seen this has already been announced, Pampered Stamper, this is my local 12-hour um, craft escape in Gettysburg. It's 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I would love if some of you guys from far away would come out and hang out with us. That would be so very cool, but I know it's not always possible, so we do have to-go options for you guys who aren't my locals, but it is just a nice day to get away, let everything else go, and have a fun day to get crafty. You have 12 hours. You can do what you want to do in those 12 hours. We do provide you with some make-and-takes. We have lunch we have supper we have lots of prize patrols we also will have additional classes and we will also have lots of kits available for sale so if you want to actually show up with your scissors and your adhesive and nothing else we can keep you busy that entire day now i want to make sure you guys know this is selling out very quickly we are keeping space limited due to covid we also want to make sure everybody has plenty of space we're able to social social distance everyone has their own eight foot table we only have a few spots left and registration closes next week so grab a friend and come out and hang out with connie and i at the pampered stamper retreat we would love to have you um, if you need the registration link, it is, I believe it is on this page pinned to the top. If not, message me and I will get you um, the registration link, whether you need a to-go kit or 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 are attending in person, I can get you that link for sure. Um, what else? I know I'm talking so much and I do have a lot of stamping for you guys, but there's so much going on. It's crazy. If you haven't tried Paper Pumpkin yet, this is your month. $5 kit. It's like a $5 foot long, but a $5 paper pumpkin. So we have, these are for new subscribers from May 7th to the 10th only. We have a limited number of kits. So make sure to message me and I will tell you exactly how to sign up and get your kit for only five bucks. If you are already a subscriber, you're going to get this kit and it is all about baseball. So it looks very, very fun. Paper pumpkin is super cool because it is a kit that has everything that you need included and it shows up right to your door. All you do is open it, get your goods out, put them together, and you're done, ready to roll. So super, super cool. Um, yes, Betty. Betty is asking, is it too early to ask if I'm planning a virtual bingo? Heck yeah, girl, I am. Um, it is, I believe, I don't have my calendar in front of me, but I think, I feel like it's June 26th. That is, uh, it should be a Saturday. And yes, we are doing virtual bingo, girlfriend. I love bingo so much. So um, I believe my registration will probably go out the, the last week of May. I'm not sure. I don't have my schedule in front of me. Yes. So Betty says, yes, the 26th is a Saturday. So June 26th, we will be doing a virtual bingo event. I haven't decided what my theme is going to be just yet. Um, we are prepping for a, a big event with my team, a virtual catalog kickoff. We're doing that on May 22nd. So once I get that under my belt, then I start to think about bingo and what I'm 
might like to do as a theme um, so that you guys know what stamps we're going to use and kind of what's going to happen. So, yep, mark it down, girl. You do not want to miss out on bingo. All right, so a couple other things I want to tell you real quick, and then I swear we are going to get stamping. So um, I wanted to let you know that that maze class to go came out today so every month my friend connie and i we run the pampered stamper retreats together we also do classes to go these are totally virtual on your own classes all you need to do is register you get the packet you get the kit everything you need with the tutorial and you can put them together on your own so these are the cards we are focusing on our dudes right oh where'd that come from that's part of tomorrow's class all right, so here's the, the cards that you're going to get. There are four cards. And you, of course, do all your stamping. So they can, they can be stamped to what works for you. Um, this one happens to be a Father's Day. This is a little easel card, so you could set this up on, on his desk. And this happens to be Father's Day, but you can make it whatever you want. So this stamp set is focusing on well-suited. You're going to get half a pack of the Designer Series paper. You will get the matte black dots that are used here. You're gonna get two rolls or the pack of the gray and navy uh, baker's twine or the, yeah, baker's twine. And you're gonna get these four cards, two of every card with the tutorial, right? The only stipulation I wanna make you sure you're aware of is when I created this card, I used the black glitter paper. We don't have the black glitter paper right now. It's on hold until next, um, holiday catalog. So you could do, if you have black glitter, totally use it. Um, if you used um, shimmer, shimmer, not sh shimmer. Oh my goodness. All right. Let me get my tongue in the right place. Shimmery crystal effects. You could do that on a black lapel. If you had black foil, you could use that. You could also run regular black cardstock through an embossing folder. There's tons of ideas you could do with that, but I just want to make sure you guys know yours will not have the glimmer paper because I forgot that we don't have it until next holiday catalog. Now, if you register by the 12th, no, the 15th, we are gonna give you a little free goodie. So this is a little box and it's gonna have some little goods in there for you, as well as everything that you need to make those cards. So that registration is up now. It is on this page and it is uh, pinned to the top, I believe, that you can go ahead and sign up for that. All righty, so the other thing I wanted to announce real quick, I posted these the other day. This was Wow Wednesday. So if you were with me last week, I always do a wow class and we focused on our blending brushes. So we made this cool card right here and we did this one. And I don't know if you can quite tell, this is called pearlized cardstock. So this is just smoky slate cardstock that I did a layer of frost white shimmer paint over top with my blending brush. And then I ran it through the embossing folder. Isn't it gorgeous so pretty so not only was this wow wednesday this was also the optional class in our at our retreat last weekend and it just so happens that i have two leftover kits so everything that you need is in there. You have the make and takes. Um, I, I did the video tutorial, so you would get that. I can uh, tag you in that. You get a set of blending brushes, a set of, or a bottle of the Frost White Shimmer Paint, which is sold out, guys. Sold out, you can't get it anymore. Um, the True Love Designer Series Paper, and then uh, two make and takes. So if anyone would like to snatch these up first come first serve the kit is thirty dollars that's for all the product that you get in there and then of course your make and takes are free so let me know if you would like to take advantage of those kits now kids it's time to stamp all right let me see what i want to do here got to get some things situated so just hang in there I got to give myself some space all right we're gonna start with this card here and this is using one of our new in colors um, Sharon if all you need to do is just tell me you want it and girl one of them is yours so it sounds like you want one 
and I will double check here just to make sure a couple of you guys have mentioned you want. So I will go back through here and at the end of this video and I will find my first two commenters and you guys will get, um, I'll message us so then you know how I get to get your address and we can do payment and all that good stuff. All right, you're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. All righty, so let's go ahead and get started. I've got a piece of Whisper White here. This, this is my eight and a half by five and a half. We'll fold that in half. That's our card base. Then I have a piece of the gorgeous Papaya. I love this one, love that in color. All right, Sharon, you got it. Um, that one is, you know, I didn't write my measurements down five and a quarter by four, and then I have a piece of white five by three and three quarters. I ran that through the uh, painted texture embossing folder ahead of time, so I was trying just to save a little bit of time here so that you guys don't have to watch me do all this embossing. And I, this embossing folder carried over, and I love it. So glad. It went on back order for a while and wasn't orderable, but we have it back in stock now. So we can go ahead and attach that to our card base. Do you guys like the papaya in color? I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. It feels like maybe it's a color we've kind of been missing. All right, let me show you what we're using. I'm gonna use Flowers of Friendship. It's got such cute little sentiments in, but I grabbed a sentiment from Inspired Thoughts. I wanted just a teeny little sentiment, and this is a great stamp set. So I am gonna take our flowers here and some mem memento ink. Oh, you like them all, okay? I do too. I liked all the last ones too. Um, with, I like the Misty Moonlight. The, the jade, I like it. It's probably not the one I go to the most. I like the cinnamon cider. Uh, and the magenta, I didn't realize <laughs> that I would love the magenta like I did. I'm usually not a pink person. All right, so we've got that. And then I'm just gonna do a little hello, just right here. Now this is a perfect little Mother's Day card too. Some of my girls last night made this as a Mother's Day card. Now, since we did it in Memento, we can grab our blends. And I'm gonna do just a quick, a quick color. I grab my dark and I always do my darker where the lines are. I let, I let the stamp kind of tell me where the shading is. So there's my dark. And I definitely make sure I'm darker down at the bottom. So that's dark papaya. And then I will come over with my light and just fill that in. I think I, I'm drawn to this one because it, there's kind of a big space in our color families. This is this reminds me a lot, if you guys have been around a while, we talked about this before, reminds me a little bit of an older color called Apricot Appeal, because it, it's not quite yellow, but it's not quite orange, it's a little peachy, and that's a color that we don't really have represented anywhere else, and so I think that maybe I'm a little bit drawn to it because of that, it's not like anything else that we have. So we'll do the same thing with another one of our in colors called Soft Succulent. I'm gonna grab my dark and again, just do my little, my little centers of my leaf, leaves. And then fill in with the lighter. And I just kind of did a little scribble. So really like I didn't worry if some of the spots were filled or not filled. I just scribbled in there and I thought it looked kind of cool. So now I'm going to attach that to a piece of apricot as well. And it just has a little bit of a one eighth 
actually I could probably even trim that down a little bit that's a tight um Thelmo it is this one right here flowers of friendship and my sentiment was from inspired thoughts I just need I just wanted a little hello right there. I'm gonna trim this down. Hold on one sec. That just got a little off for me. I needed to see a little bit more apricot. Okay, so now I have this piece of ribbon and it's a little bit longer than what I need. So I'm just gonna trim right here. Do a little, little dabble do you for the back and wrap that around the bottom. I'm gonna go right underneath my hello. And this coordinating ribbon is gorgeous as well. So I do want some dimensionals on here. So I put them right on top of my ribbon. That way, if my ribbon doesn't wanna pop off, and then we'll attach that to our card. Oh, you're welcome, Thelma. That was a new stamp set that demonstrators were able to pre-order. So I was able to work with that one. And it does have a coordinating punch. This one has a coordinating punch that works with those two flowers in there. So that's gonna go right there. Slide my ribbon underneath. Tie a little bow. And there we go, super cute card. And this open weave ribbon is just so fun to work with. It's pretty and it's sheer and it doesn't, it's not real thick. So there we are. Then kind of the final thing we gotta do, a little bit of Wink of Stella, right? So add some Winker on here and this one is dry. So I might have to do that. Yep, it is bone dry. Anyway, you can't quite tell Wink of Stella um, on a video anyway, but I did on my original card. I did winker all over those flowers. So so pretty Just adds that little bit of shimmer that you need. All right, let's move on to our next card Give myself some room now this one will look familiar because this was Movie Monday this week. So I'm gonna show you again real quick. Some of you guys may have already watched it. Now, I also want you to keep in mind, I have a couple kits left from Just Cards. I have three kits available. Each kit has um, two of every card. So at Just Cards class, we make three cards, two of every single card for a total of six cards. Envelopes are always included. So I have a little special offer. If you head over to my online store, use host code right here by Friday, I'm going to give those kits away. So you can get those that kit for absolutely free. What we're making tonight, you're gonna get two of every card we're making tonight. And um, that special offer ends on Friday. So hop over to my online store and I will hook you up. But I only have three kits available. All right, I need, do we not have, there they are. All right, so this one is a dude card. Got some Knight of Navy here. Hey Kathleen, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Glad to hear it's sunny for you. It's been very cloudy and rainy. It's pretty now, but we sure have a lot of clouds. I took a piece of Knight of Navy. This is four by five and a quarter, and I ran it through the textured textile embossing folder. So it's a very, very subtle embossing folder. So I did that ahead of time, and then I'm gonna attach a piece of designer series paper. And I was just saying, if you guys are just hopping on, this might look familiar, because I did this in my Movie Monday earlier this Monday. All right, scissors. There we are. But you can never have enough guy cards, right? You might not necessarily need a Father's Day card, but you may, might need a guy birthday card. 
and that's what this one is going to be. So I'm just wrapping a little bit of that navy twine right at, right at the seam, and then I'll attach this to our card front. <clears throat> There we are. Then I have, of course, there's our white. That's for the center. Here is a stitched circle. And I mentioned in my video Monday, it, they are retired. The stitched circles have left us. They retired and they actually sold out. But you are gonna see me keep using them because they are such a staple in my stamping. And I know Betty's on here and Betty will tell you, don't get rid of them just because they're retired. You need to keep them. Keep them and love them and use them. All right, we're gonna stamp ourselves a little bow tie right there. And then we're gonna put a pretty on the inside too. A little bow tie for the inside. All righty. So now I am gonna do a little color with my blends. Yep, Betty just said keep them forever, amen. And I don't normally do that. I normally do a big BOGO sale and get rid of all my retired items. So this fall, you guys will get an invitation to my BOGO. It runs virtually. Um, I had to adapt when COVID came to town and I actually like it virtual because it allows everybody to shop. So you guys will get an invitation to that. Usually in October, I do my BOGO sale. All right, so I'm coloring with my Knight of Navy. I did some, a little bit where the little folds of the fabric are. That's what I did in dark. And then there's a die cut for this. But I'm gonna save us a little bit of time and I'm not gonna die cut because I do have another beautiful card to show, show you. It is just the epitome of spring. All right, so normally I would run this through with my little die cut, run that through my, my boss machine, and I didn't show you the stamp. This is the handsomely suited set that we're using. Oh, perfect. Oh, you have a twin, Kathleen, how cool. So maybe this would be a good card for him. Is he a bow tie kind of guy? Um. Anyway, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on because we're gonna save a little time. I had, I talked way too much, you guys. So I'm sure you're ready to head to get dinner or do something like that. So, because I have that one more card to show you. So I'm gonna put that right on with some dimensionals. That little extra ribbon I had, I'm gonna slide that under here and tie myself a knot. Well, I'm gonna tie a bow, because it's extra. It's a little extra long, so I can tie myself a knot. No, I can tie myself a bow. Oh, your brothers are twins, I gotcha, all right. I'm following you, sorry. So you need to make two cards now. <laughs> do their cards have to be the same, or do you have to make them different? There we go. So now what I would do, this is gonna go on the inside right there so it's ready to roll. Um, and then I would die cut that little bow tie out. And this is what you would have, right like that. Super cute little dude card. Oh my gosh, Thelma, you're too much. Thelma says she loves to hear me talk. You're crazy. <laughs> I talk too much especially when I'm in here by myself. All right, one more card, kids. This one, this one might be my favorite. All right, where are, where's my card parts? Here we are. Okay, let's get everything out. So we've got a white card base. We've got some Poppy Parade. These are, cut, these are just a couple pieces that I'm gonna use for die cutting, but I went ahead and die cut ahead of time. There, so I need that, that, and oh, this super cool designer series paper. 
I love this card. All right, so we've got our white card base. We'll fold that in half. Now I used regular, but I think if I did this again, I would use thick. I would use our, our thick basic white. So now I wanna talk about this designer series paper, you guys, because for the first time that I can remember, um, Stamping Up is giving you the option of designer paper as a host reward. So let's go back here and check it out real quick. So just in case you didn't know, when you, ha when you host what we call a party or a workshop or a class, that means it's $150 in orders, whether it's your own order, because I know that's so easy to do, um, can either be your own order or a collection of orders together. At $150, we consider that a party and we always give away Stampin' Rewards. So right here in the back of the catalog, page 170, at $150 in total sales, you're gonna get 10% of that, okay? And then you can take that whatever, whatever your total is and you can purchase items, host-only items, with your free host rewards, or you can use it for anything else. But I always wanna point that out because that's the only way that you can get these specific stamp sets is by hosting. And we've got that cool host special that's going on until the middle of June. But for the first time, we're giving paper. So we have got this beautiful pack. This is a mega pack of paper. So it is 48 sheets of gorgeous paper. On one side, it is nice, bright, flowery, fun colors. When you flip it over to the other side, it's all black and white, which is one of my favorite things is black and white papers. So anyway, I wanna make sure you guys are aware of that because it's like a super thick pack of paper. I don't have it here with me or I would show you all the, I'm getting my samplers together so that I can show you samples of the pieces, but it does come in a 12 by 12. All right, so there's the black and white on this side and that pretty fun pattern of flowers on the front. So I'm just gonna mount this on to that piece of Poppy Parade. And then the stamp set that I chose to use is Color and Contour. So this is a new one. And it also has a bundle that looks like this. This is a must have, so that's where this guy came out of, is a bunch of scallop rectangles, and it does work, um, what do I wanna say? It coordinates with the stitched rectangles as well as the um, stitched so, so sweetly. They kind of all work together. Uh, Denise said she got it. Yes, good choice, Denise. I think you're gonna like it. So let's stamp our sentiment. I got some Poppy Parade ink here. Um, I did, what do I have here? I'm gonna do this one. So very happy for you. There we are. And that's it for the stamping. That's all there is. So let's attach this one to our scallop. And then I'll show you another favorite die set that I have. We'll put this one on our card base. Oh, Kathleen got it too. Good choice, ladies. I'm a paper junkie. Raise my hand. I, I'm not a hoarder because I do use it. I love paper, and so I do tend to use it. Um, I guess I hoard a little bit because I have multiple packs of the same pack of paper, but I, I don't mind cutting it. I, I will cut it, and I will use it. Um, so I'm super excited for my DSP share. So I've got all the new DSPs coming. Oh, my God, Deb, did you hear him? <laughs> um, that, if you guys heard the grumble... That's my dog, and he is very vocal when he lays in his bed. He just sounds like a, an old man. It's not his belly. Oh, I mean, it's not my belly. It's not his belly. That's just him. He just is so vocal, and he's just laying here doing nothing but taking a nap. But he acts like he's an old guy. All right, let me show you the next set of dies. 
Did you guys get these? These are the In Blooms stitched dies, and I didn't know how badly I needed these in my life. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. So I did run them through ahead of time. So I've got all kinds of little pretties here, and the thing that I love to use these with is the glue dots. They just make life so simple. So let's get my poker. I was wondering if you could hear his hear his stomach or hear hear him groaning. All right, let's do a little. Well, heck and heck, I need the poker end, not the spatula end. What the heck? All right, we'll poke these guys out here. Pokey poke. That's the only thing you do have to do with these stitched dies is you do have to do some extra poking, but that's okay. I think they are totally worth it. And they come out real easy. They're not stuck in there, but with the stitching, it's like they're, they're extra tricky to get out. All right, now it's time to put together. So I'm gonna do opposites for my center. So orange on the yellow, yellow on the orange. Then I'm gonna put my stem or my leaves on here and we need one on the yellow and I'm going to keep those for later because I need them for another card so we'll go ahead and stick down our little yellow guy He's going to go right there, and then we'll stick down our orange guy. I think I'm going to put two because he's a bit bigger, so we'll do two glue dots on him. And then these cutie little poppy ones, oh, that one's really stuck. My plates look like they've been well loved, and they're just going to kind of sit in here. That's it. Do you love it? Holy guacamole. That's my favorite. So you guys know, you know, I, these are copied. These are cases from the internet. I, I don't always know who I got them from, but I do want to make sure you guys know I'm a good, I'm a good caser. I like to case from my other fellow demonstrators. So there we go, guys. There are our three cards for this evening. Aren't they pretty? So pretty. All righty. So... So don't forget, guys, my special offer. I've got three kits right here. All you need to do is hop on over to my online store by Friday. Use this host code right here. Message me that you ordered, and this kit will be yours. So thank you so much, guys, for joining me tonight for virtual class. It looks like my internet held out, so yay for that. And I'm going to go have some dinner with my farmer now. So you guys have a great evening. Come on back and visit me tomorrow morning. We're going to create a couple more dude cards. I've got, I think, three three other dude cards I want to share with the well-suited um, suite. So come on back tomorrow morning right here at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. All right, night, guys.